What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now in this week's video, me, Eli, and Connor actually had the opportunity to go up to North Carolina and do a little bit of trout fishing. So every year in North Carolina where we went, they do this like kids trout fishing tournament. So whenever we pulled up to the spot, that's what was going on. All of these kids were lined up in the river. It was absolutely packed. And as you're seeing in these clips, there was actually some golden rainbow trout in there or palomino trout, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, this is just one of those kind of tournaments where they put a ton of fish in, a ton of people fish, and I've filmed a couple of these videos where I fish in tournaments like these. They're a little weird, not my favorite thing to do, but this is what was going on. After the kids tournament was over, I think it ended at 12, there was a three hour gap where no fishing was allowed. Actually, it was a four hour gap because at four o'clock, fishing opened up to the public. We ended up setting up at our spot like a couple hours before four o'clock just so we could get a good spot. And finally, right there at four o'clock, we all started casting and here's how it went. Two foot away from each other. There it is, baby. The first bait. All right, bro. I'll make it time fly. We're ready to go. <laughs> it's uh, 3.59. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is someone going to say go? Someone going to say go or we just going to like see what we watch? Go an underhand pitch right in the middle. I just wait on one person to catch. What time is it? One minute. Six. Got like 10 seconds. Oh. Right hey, they're casting. Hey, they got. So, let's go. Got him. Yo, I'm the man. Hey, next time, I ain't rough. Wow. Instantly, bro. Oh, he choked it. He did. Yep, absolutely inhaled it. Yeah, we're going to be keeping this one. God, I got blood everywhere, bro. Yeah, it's all over my shorts. Are other people catching them or what? Are you for real? I mean, like, people caught some, but not fast as you did. God, that's sick. Well, I think I got the first cast over here because all them down there casted, so then I cast it. I'm like shaking, bro. The anticipation's been killing me. Oh, there's so many lines in the water. All these stinking Joe flies. Oh, we got to go. Got him on the worm. Yes, sir. Get him, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, he got a good one. He got real good. And you are. That's the bit. That's one of them big ones. Told you was in there. My goodness, dude. That thing is huge. Hey, there's the gold. Ain't it? There's one. Right there by the people. This one's been caught already. Catching over you see. Oh you got them all? Yeah. God look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Catching the little ones. <laughs> we double. Yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about, baby. A little double up. Go the other way. Alright, I got mine back. Mine won't stop freaking out. So that's number three already. That ain't bad. That's how I had it. Yeah. Oh! Connor got a big one, dude. There we go, Connor. Go! Where'd he go? Freaking out right now. Yes, Connor's loving this. His ego is about to be huge. Come on, Connor. Making me proud. Golly. He's going to be happy now. He ain't going to stop talking. Yeah, I know. He's like, I, to I told you. I told you. I think he got him hooked good. Yes, sir. <laughs> Golly, that thing is fat, boy. They're good. Get him on the flop. What is it? It says four pounds, 15 ounces. Almost five pounds. So it's five basically pounds. five pounds, yeah. exactly. Good looking at that. Golly. No, no, no. He's so fat. Nice. That's all we're catching, bro. Well, boys, I'll be honest. The first 30 minutes to an hour was pretty solid. Everyone was catching fish. Well, not everyone, but a good bit of people were catching fish. I caught the first fish of the day, I think, which was epic. You could even hear some people in the background talking about you shouldn't be casting yet, but I was not the first person to cast. As soon as I saw other people cast, I let it rip, and that's how it went. So for the rest of the day, guys, it was absolutely cheeks. I didn't catch crap. It was like the initial first few casts in there, they were biting everything, but then after that, I mean, the fish kind of catch on. There's lures every few seconds. Elijah actually managed to catch this awesome trout. I wasn't filming for it, and I was just sad I missed it, but there's the picture. That was absolutely epic. That's really what I wanted to catch more than anything. It was one of them golden ones, but it just did not happen for me on day one. Connor caught a huge trout. I did get footage of that. But that brings us into day two. We actually spent the night there in North Carolina. Got up very early the next morning. We woke up at five and got to the river at 5.30. You were allowed to start fishing at 5.45 because that was an hour before daylight. And that's exactly what we did. The river was still pretty crowded, but it wasn't as crowded as the day before. And these first few clips were very dark. I tried to brighten them up as much as I could, but let's hop into that day. Wonder if you can see anything. Probably the lights and that's about it. 5.45? It's game time, baby. Oh, yes, yes. Let's go. I haven't caught a trout in so long. I don't know if I can see that. There's one. Oh, this is a decent one. You got that net? Yeah. I got it. Nice. Connor got one too. This feels so good actually catching fish. Hook literally popped right out. Oh, did he just catch one? No. I thought he was reeling in a fish already. Oh, God. That was the hardest bite I've got this entire trip. He actually just slammed it, dude. Dude, I've gone cold. I haven't caught a fish in like... 20 minutes. It's 
salmon egg. Is he chasing? Oh, he... Oh. He chased him. Like... What the heck? <laughs> I was getting chased by the golden and then this one eats it. Time to catch a fish, baby. Come on. Oh, they're all over it. Oh, he's he's got it. Yes! <laughs> Let's go, baby. What is that? I think it's a creek tub. God, you're terrible. I told you I was gonna catch one. Fish number five of the day. How many you caught? I'm about to pass you. Cause I caught, I think it's a creek tub, I guess. They were messing with my, um, with my salmon eggs. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna fish for them. Another one. <laughs> Connor, I'm putting a whooping on you, boy. <laughs> Number two. This one's different. Different species than the other one. <laughs> oh. this was very similar to the first day the first couple hours of fishing were good and then it just shut off it was really like the first hour was good and then the bite shut off for me connor ended up sticking a golden trout on this day you i didn't catch one nor did i i honestly didn't catch any big trout the whole trip which is kind of booty because i drove a long way to get there but anyways on the second day me and you i only stayed for a couple hours and we headed back home after eli got home he dropped me off at my truck and then i had to drive all the way back to south georgia well, on that drive back, I found a juicy little pond on the side of the road. I had to get a little bass fishing then. I couldn't head all the way home with a bad taste in my mouth. And here's what happened at that pond I found. Oh, I just had one. Dude, I just got here. Man, I've been seeing a ton of bait and I've seen a couple of bass stir. I figure with it being such a calm, hot day if i drug a worm out in the middle i could probably get some bites so i'm using it's just a uh, june bug trick worm i don't know if that was a tiny fish and he missed it or if there's actual big ones in here it's a pretty big pond it goes on a long way a lot more than this so there's potential for some big ones oh man the pond definitely gets fished a little bit this is a mystery tackle box, which is a subscription-based bass fishing box. Oh, I didn't even see this. There's a whole rod. It's a, um, it's a loose rod. The rod's not bad. It's got a little Zebco reel on it. It's cooked, but. All right, there's definitely bass in there. Like 1,000%. I've got a bite and I see bass fishing stuff. They're here. Now we just gotta get one. Couldn't really get a good hook set. He was running under the log. So I tried to sit it back that way. I missed him. Is that a fish? Yes, it is. Oh, what the heck? That is not the size you want to see. 
But I will say this was the weakest bite because the other three all pretty much slammed it. This one I didn't even really know he bit. Um, so I'm really hoping the other ones were bigger than this, but hey, we're on the board, baby. Bass number one. And that definitely confirms that we have developed a pattern. They're sitting out there in the middle, dragging this worm is gonna get me some bites. It's the perfect color for this muddy water. I mean, you saw how pale that bass was. This water is chocolatey. Probably not gonna fish for very long just cause I have to drive all the way back home today, but we're gonna, we're gonna fish for a little bit. Look at that. Okay. That's actually a good find. I'm, I'm not sure what brand this is. At first I was thinking it was a Yozuri because it looks similar to one that I have, but it's actually a Berkeley. I use a lot of their baits. I didn't even realize how many I used, but I use a ton of Berkeley stuff. So I will definitely add this to my tackle box. Oh, that's big. That's a good bass. That's a good bass. It's not huge, that's a good bass. Did I say it was a good bass? Oh yeah, baby. I knew it. I knew there would be good bass in here. That's easily two. Probably closer to two and a half. I don't know if the GoPro does it justice. That is a fatty. And if I didn't keep pressure, he would have came off because that just popped right out. Phew, you love to see that, baby. Let's go for the release. I know they're out here because I walked down there and it was actually really shallow. But from here to here, I've got, what, um, three or four bites now and I've caught two. The spot is pretty solid. No, don't get muddy. Oh. oh man, I use everything in my power to keep my whole body from landing right there. Look how slick that crap was. I was trying to get out of it before I slept and it was too late. I don't know if it's that bad, but I know the mud was trying to get me. Well, boys, that's going to be a wrap on today's video. I had a pretty cool weekend. I got to go fish the trout thing. I'm not the biggest trout fisherman, not the biggest fan of those tournament type things. I guess this one wasn't even technically a tournament. It was just a kid's tournament that we fished after. But yeah, like the packed out river trout fishing is not my favorite thing to do. Although seeing those golden or palomino trout was so epic and seeing Elijah catch one was cool. Today, the second day, uh, Connor actually caught one too. I'll pop up a picture if he sends it to me. Connor also caught a massive rainbow, which was super fun to watch as well. But yeah, it was pretty fun to fish. I'm glad I got to catch a few trout while I was up there. And then right here on the way home, I just found this juicy new pond. It goes on way back there and I'm definitely coming back to it. I had to bring the boys, might even have to bring the kayaks. Don't even know if you're supposed to be putting them in here, but this pond is worth trying. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, let me know by dropping a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. Just drop a comment down below. Tell me what kind of videos to post because I can really fish for anything. But anyways, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video.